Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the vlog. Um, I'm starting off really different today. I'm wearing pajamas, but I have my hair and makeup down. I just, as I was about to pick out what I was gonna wear, I really felt like making a matcha latte so i thought i would try making a latte with you i've had so many questions on like what coffees i like um how i make my coffees over on instagram so hopefully later on in the vlog i'll try and kind of show you how i make my coffees but this morning oh my god please ignore my dead flowers um but this morning i wanted to try and make a matcha latte with the frother now i've seen this done before i've just never done it i've always done it the traditional way where you mix the matcha with a little bit of water and then you froth your milk and you put it in but this time around i'm going to try and actually froth the matcha into the milk so we'll see we'll see let's try this out <laughs> Alright, so essentially what I did was I put half a teaspoon of the matcha. I'm just using this culinary grade. I know I've been told that I should be using the ceremonial grade, but this was almost 20 bucks. So I want to use this up before I buy any more. And then I just put honey and um, some almond milk in there and I'm frothing it right now. I put it on the hot setting, so we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> quick update it turned out so so good it tastes really really nice um, I could potentially have added more honey to it um, but honestly it tastes really good so right now I'm gonna go get dressed get out of my pajamas and then I'm gonna sit down and respond to some emails I do have a class at 1 I think I think it's at 1 o'clock so I'm gonna try and do as much as I can before then and then I'll attend that and then just get back to work after that so I'm about to sit down and do some work and repel the emails, but I thought I would show you what I am wearing. So today is going to be a very cozy and laid back day at home. So I've got this, this is an Aritzia dress. Um, I believe it's called a spa dress and um, it's got buttons all the way down. It's just that cozy dress that is perfect to be around the house. It's still beautiful. Um, and if I were to go out, I would just put my leather boots on from Coach my plaza coat, my big kind of camel coat, and I'm set to go out. But yeah, this is just the type of stuff I love to wear at home when I still want to be comfy, cozy, um, but I obviously want to look and feel put together. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. Very cozy. Hopefully, I'm expecting two orders to arrive today. One or two orders. I think it's, I don't know, one or two orders are meant to be arriving today. And I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a little bit of like a mini haul in this video. I have so many things that I want to show you that I've been buying. And yeah, so hopefully I'll get that parcel a little bit later today. And then I can sit down and show you everything. Um, I'm really sad because I was supposed to have some items arrive essentially like the beginning of this week. That way I could film a haul and um, they haven't arrived and I don't think they're gonna arrive till next Monday um, so it's a little bit sad but it is what it is hopefully they'll arrive I'm crossing fingers by Friday but we'll see but anyways right now I'm gonna reply to some emails and I'm still <laughs> drinking my matcha latte so so good um, but yeah also in case you're wondering if I have two red dots up here I was doing gua sha this morning and um, I don't know, maybe I went a little bit too hard on my forehead. I don't know, but um, you can kind of still see those marks there. But if you're wondering what those are, that's what those are. So it's been a few hours. I'm currently just sat here on the floor. I'm about to uh, do a reading, so I have to prep for my lecture, and then I will sit and do that two-hour lecture. But I'm currently snacking on these Nespresso chocolates, and they're so good. These are these 70% uh, little like chocolates from Nespresso. If you can get your hands on them, do so. They are so good. Even my mom, who isn't a fan of 70% chocolate, even she loves them. But anyways, I've got two here, so I'm just gonna snack on those. But yeah, I have to get to work, so we will catch up in a bit. All 
right, so I am all done school. I am done work for the day. So I'm just gonna go through my cookbooks and find a meal that I wanna make for tonight. I've been having a lot of pasta lately. So I'm gonna try and not have pasta tonight. Maybe I'll have some roasted veggies. I feel like that would be nice. So I'm gonna find a recipe, write down all the ingredients that I need, go to the grocery store, and then come back and make an early dinner. All right, so just to quickly show you what I'm wearing, I've got my hunter boots. I've just got Lululemon leggings on. I've got, this is I believe the Capella coat from Aritzia, so it's more of like a tighter fitting wool coat. And then just a wool scarf to keep me warm. And then of course I got my Pauline bag. This one holds quite a bit, so it's just more comfortable for me. And then of course I'll be taking my reusable shopping bags. Don't forget your reusable shopping bags, they're important. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna pick up some ingredients. I'm gonna be making a soup tonight, so something just very hearty and warm. It's just gonna have potatoes and carrots and kale in it, so something very comforting for today. It's not overly cold out, but I just felt like I've been eating a lot of pasta and I just want something cozy. So that's what I'm gonna have for dinner, but um, I'm gonna get going that way I can come back and make it. Okay, so this is what I got at the grocery store. I am making a soup today, so it's gonna have lima beans. I bought some vegetable broth. This isn't typically the one I like to use, um, but this is all they had, so that's what I got. Onions, peppers. The recipe calls for miso paste. I've actually never had miso paste, so we'll try that. Some avocados, potatoes here. Some tomatoes. I bought a new vegan feta cheese, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm kind of wanting to pair the feta cheese with this tomatoes. Bananas, some leeks again for the recipe. And then my mom and I love having these whenever she comes over. So I just bought a couple packages for her and I um, to eat. Um, but yeah, this is what I got. Really simple grocery and it was very inexpensive. I think this was like 30, 30 bucks and it'll last me quite a long time. So now that I got everything, I'm not even going to put away everything yet because most of the items I'm actually going to have to use for the recipe. So I'm just going to pull out my recipe. This one is actually from Gaz's cookbook. So this cookbook, I really wanted something that was really, really quick and fast. And this one says it takes just an hour. So I mean, it's not overly quick, but it's really simple. You really just pretty much have to dice up all the vegetables, put your vegetable stock in, and then um, just kind of let it simmer for a little bit. So I thought that was the easiest recipe. Although I think over the weekend, I'm definitely going to cook some of Rachel Ama's recipes and kind of do a little bit more of like a batch cooking. Um, because I think hers are a little bit more, not harder, just there's more steps, more ingredients. So I think they're going to take a little bit longer than Gaz's. But I'm really excited because I was chatting with one of you ladies. Um, I don't even know if she follows me on YouTube, but I was chatting with one of you ladies on Instagram. And she was telling me how much she loved Rachel Amma. So I ended up asking her for some of her favorite recipes. And she said that one of her curries... And I think one of her rice dishes were absolutely amazing. So those are on my to make list for this weekend. Um, but right now I'm just gonna make this soup. Um, I'm not overly hungry, but I feel like in an hour I will be. So I'm gonna get started on this.
All right, so this is the final outcome. There's carrots in there. The only thing I missed is cavolo nero, which is a type of kale. Unfortunately, my grocery store didn't have it. Um, so I just kind of swapped it out for some other veggies, but it's got beans in there um, I put zucchini in there the recipe didn't call for it But I had it in my fridge and it was going bad So I figured I would add it and it's just carrots leeks potatoes just hearty, but very comforting I feel like every time you guys see me I'm in like a different outfit, um, but I just made a coffee decaf coffee and I'm having my favorite biscottis from Italy. They are I think some hazelnut They've got like hazelnuts in them and they're so, so, so good. So if you're ever in Italy, um, go look for their biscottis because they're amazing. Um, but I have gotten so many questions about my coffee. So tonight I am having, um, this is the Vivalto Lungo. That's the decaf version. And I also have just the regular version of that one. I really like that one. That one's like a lighter coffee. It's not as strong, which is nice if I want to have it like in the evening. So yeah, I'm just going to sit down on my couch, drink my coffee, have my biscotti, and watch a little bit of um, Outer Banks. I just started Outer Banks, so I'm watching that because one of my friends recommended it to me. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do probably a little bit of yoga because I haven't worked out or done anything today. So I'm going to at least try and get a 20-minute yoga session in um, before I go to bed and then I'll shower, take off my makeup because my face is starting to like feel gross. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Good morning everyone. It is a new day and I'm excited for today because I finally get to show you all of the things that I've been purchasing. Um, there was one package that not only was it late but then when it got delivered um, for some reason they said that I wasn't home even though I haven't left my apartment. Um, so anyways I had to wait an extra day for it to get re-delivered. Re um, but I have them so I'm ready to sit down but I wanted to go through my coffee because I was actually just about to go make my coffee and some breakfast and I thought I would chat to you about how I make my coffee and um, kind of what coffees I drink and have bought from Nespresso because I have been getting a lot of questions about that so let me show you all the coffees that I bought at Nespresso and these are the ones so far that I've enjoyed the most one of them in here i'm not a huge fan of so i won't be repurchasing it but um let me show you all right so these are the five that i am currently drinking this one is probably one of my favorites this is the inspiracion italiana so this one is probably the strongest one i love it again it's so so strong this one is my decaf one i really enjoy having this one at night it's a very light coffee not strong at all um this one is kind of the next strongest one i would say um so this is the voluto obviously not as strong as the italian one here and then these two are my they're called the barista creation so these ones are actually going to be flavored i love the caramel one um and i did not like the vanilla claire so i won't be repurchasing the vanilla one to be honest i'd rather just use like a vanilla creamer if that's kind of the vibe i'm going for the things i find with these is that they are not strong at all so you really don't need a lot of milk. Um, I mean, it still tastes nice with a lot of milk, but you kind of start to lose that coffee flavor. So this morning, I don't know what I feel like. Maybe I'll do a caramel one because I really do like the caramel one. They're just not as strong. And I found that sometimes I wish I could do like a double espresso shot, but then you're going through two pods of the coffee. So let me kind of get all my stuff and then I'll show you. Another question that I get a lot is how I get my milk to froth. Um, so I use the Almond Breeze Original Unsweetened. I never get the sweetened version. Sorry, that's the French side. I'll flip over to the English side. Um, so that's the original unsweetened. Um, and I was thinking about it the other night. Oh, I'm sorry if you could hear my stomach growling. I'm really hungry. Um, I was thinking about it and perhaps it's how much milk you're putting in your actual frother. So when you look at the frother, I don't know if you can even tell. Let me try and show you. So there's a good image. So I don't know if you've ever looked inside your frother, but there are two little lines and they are telling you how much milk you should put in depending on whether you're using the hot or cold setting. I always go to the first line, not even the second line, just the first line. And that's the line that I use for both the hot and cold setting. So I never really put more than that. So for those that are maybe struggling with your milk not frothing, perhaps just try putting less milk in. Um, that could be why your milk isn't frothing as well, but let me show you how I do it. So I'm just gonna put the, this is the caramel barista creations one, so I'm just gonna put it in here. 
I like to press this so it starts warming up and then in the meantime I will remove this because my cups are bigger so I just move it off to the side and I just put my mug in there I get so many questions on these these I bought from HomeSense, so unfortunately I, I don't remember the brand. I'm going to see if perhaps my mom remembers because I know I bought them with her, um, but I, at the moment I don't remember the brand. Um, but these are double walled mugs, so if you just searched up double walled mugs on Amazon, um, loads and loads come up. For the barista creations, because they're not as strong, I do make an espresso, so I'm just going to press the little one. And I will let that do its thing. Can you see me? <laughs> So now I am just going to put my milk in here. When I make espressos, I always make sure to froth my milk on the hot setting because if I froth it on the cold setting, it's just gonna cool down the coffee too much. So that's what I'm gonna do. Depending on what type of coffee I want, if I want something that's just kind of like a regular latte, I will just use plain sugar. But when I want something that's sweeter, I like to put in a little bit of this silk almond hazelnut creamer. So I will actually put that straight into my coffee. I have found that when I put that in the frother, my milk doesn't froth, so I have just been putting it in here. So I'm just going to put a splash of that. And my milk is ready. So as you can see, very nice and frothy. And that is my finished latte. This is what I drink most days. Again, depending on how strong um, or sweet I want a coffee, I will vary it. Although with some of my stronger coffees, I don't actually make the espresso. I make the Lungo coffee. So it's going to have a little bit more water in it because they are quite strong. I know when my, my mom and dad came over, I made her the... The, I think it was the Italian one, so the strongest one that I have, and she's like, oh, make me the espresso, and I accidentally made her the Lungo, because that's usually what I make myself, and when she had it, she's like, yeah, no, it's good, like, it's really strong. So, um, I like to have that variety in my coffee, so I have a coffee that's strong, I have a coffee that's, you know, kind of not as strong, a little bit more um, smoother, and then I like to have my Barista Creations, which is kind of like your Starbucks drink, essentially, um, but I like to have those options at home. So that's my coffee. So I'm gonna quickly make breakfast and then I'm gonna sit down and show you the things I've been purchasing because I feel like this whole video has been me saying I'm gonna show you what I've been buying and I haven't shown you, so. Perfect, can we see me? Oh, my pants sound funny on this floor. All right, so I'm finally sat down here. I'm gonna start with some books that I've been buying. I also bought two pairs of shoes, which I'm very excited about because one of them I haven't even fully opened up yet. Um, but I bought two books. Um, I had been doing listening to Audible, and I mean, I still am listening to Audible just because I find that I can listen to it when I'm busy. But I finally got myself two books because I said that this year, regardless of how busy I was, I was going to make a point to try and read a little bit every day. So the first two books that I bought, the first one is Bridgerton. I know, I know, but I had to. There is just some shows and some movies that I just know would make even better books. I actually did this with Outlander, so if you've seen the series Outlander, I highly, highly recommend to read the books. In fact, I only read the first book and that was sufficient for me, that was enough. I do have the second book though, um, so I might end up reading that, but um, there are just some series that you just know that they would make better books and I feel like Bridgerton is one of those. Um, so I did find it at Indigo, Chapters Indigo. They do ship to the US. So for those of you in the US, I know some of you are messaging me telling me that they were all sold out everywhere. Well, Chapters Indigo, I will link it down below, still has the book available. They have both the original cover, which is what I prefer, and then they have the like Netflix one with um, the two actors. And then the other book I bought was Difficult Women by Roxanne Gray. I've actually already started this one. I'm a few chapters in already and it is so good. I have been wanting to read this book for I don't even know how long now. Funny enough, I read Difficult Women by Helen Lewis. Also an amazing read. So if you're looking for um, kind of a bit more of a feminist text, highly recommend that one. But this one, I'm just really excited to finish it. If you've read it, let me know what your thoughts are on it because so far I'm just in love with it. And then the last book I bought was another cookbook. I know we're on a cookbook frenzy. Um, but this is Rachel Amma. She is 
one of my other favorite vegan cooks, chefs, YouTubers, Instagrammers. <laughs> um, she has really, really flavorful food. I just, lots of curries and um, I'm really excited to try out. Definitely her book is more of a traditional cookbook compared to Plants Only Kitchen by Gaz Oakley. His is really easy because it tells you how long the recipes are gonna take, how hard they are to make, um, whether they're good for batch making. Hers doesn't really have any of that, so I'll just open it up to a random page. As you can see, it's pretty much just the ingredients and then your instructions. So there really isn't a sense of how hard it's gonna be, how long it's gonna take you. And for myself that I like to kind of manage my time, I really like that Gaz has that kind of component to it. Despite that, her recipes are phenomenal. I've made a few from her YouTube videos and I love them. So um, that's the other thing I bought. I'm really excited to make more of her recipes. Um, I'm gonna talk about the one clothing item because this is something that I have been on the look for for quite a while, but it's tank tops. Layering pieces, like good layering pieces, I find that are really hard to find. And so this is the Bowie tank from Aritzia. I actually bought this in a nude color first because I needed something to wear under my lighter sweaters that was gonna keep me warm. Obviously you can't wear a black tank top under like a white cashmere sweater. And when I tried it, I fell in love. So this has got, it reminds me, it's almost like a spandex material. So it's very tight fitting to the body. Because of the seams and the material, it's, I wanna say it's almost like a seamless look to the body. Um, it keeps the girls, you know, in place if I'm not wearing a bra. So I can actually wear this around the house without a bra and not feel like, you know. So um, if you're looking for a very good, um, layering piece just a tank top i highly highly recommend this bowie tank i promise you you won't regret it the sizing is a little bit odd so it's extra small small medium large i believe um so it's kind of those grouped sizings which i'm not a huge fan of but it does fit really well like my mom i believe is more of like a small medium and she fits into the extra small small just fine because i know she tried mine on so um, don't worry too much about the sizing. The material is super stretchy, but that was the next thing. I have had my Adidas Ultra Boost now for I think like three years. So I thought it was time uh, to get new runners. And so I went with the brand that I have actually had my eye on for over three years. Um, so the brand is APL. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. So I just have the box here. So I did already open them up, but I didn't really take them out of the box. So. I went with a runner that was all white. I wanted very minimal logos. I wanted them to be very classy. And so these are the sneakers that I got. So, oh, they're so beautiful. By the way, I don't remember the name, so I will link them down below for you. Um, I just went with my true size, although they have a really great um, kind of feature on there where you can tell them what size you are in a different brand and then they'll recommend a size for you. So I did that with Adidas. I just input what size my Adidas Ultra Boosts were and they recommended this size and they fit perfectly. So they look like this. They are textured, which is beautiful. They remind me of the Nike Fly Knits, if you know that style. Um, a kind of slip-on style, which is my favorite. So the logo is gonna be here, but again, it's just a very minimal and sleek style. I actually, I think I'm gonna get the black pair in this exact style or perhaps a different style, but in the black. And the nice thing about this brand is that again, it's such a simple sneaker. And sometimes when it comes to sneakers, um, and if you're someone who is like a gym junkie and you just wanna have your shoes match to everything, sometimes going with a simple shoe like this is the best. So I'm really excited about these, um, especially just because I haven't had <laughs> new sneakers in some time. Okay, the last, thing now leaving, saving the best for last i haven't even opened this box up it's actually from farfetch i you guys know i love my lacoste white sneakers we know i wear them all the time and so this year i wanted to try out a new brand of white sneakers but i wanted to you know test the waters and see how that would work out for me because sometimes in you know i, I know that Sometimes when something is more expensive, it's because of the quality, but other times it could be because of the name. And I'm very aware of that. So I looked 
high and low for different brands and this was a brand that really stood out to me i don't even know how to open this okay i got the box open we're good <laughs> so uh, this is what it looks like so the brand is axel arigato it reminds me very much of common project if you've heard of that brand i'm sure we all have heard of common projects to be honest i didn't want to get common projects i looked at them and they just seemed they're beautiful they're very simple um but they didn't stand up to me so so very nice them they are very heavy they've got quite some weight to them but as you can see they are just a very classic and timeless sneaker i like that the logo is quite minimal so it's not too showy um wow the quality on these feels absolutely amazing they kind of look small though Oof, i don't know i have to try those on <laughs> okay i'm like really fangirling over these sneakers i have to show you they are absolutely amazing having them on they feel like a cross between Common Projects and the Alexander McQueen sneakers. Absolutely stunning. The quality is amazing. I can tell that they're going to be a little bit hard to break in because the leather is quite stiff. Like it's, it's real leather. So it's going to be quite hard to break in. But let me show you because they're absolutely stunning. All right. This is what they look like from the top. Um, very, very beautiful. And then I'll show you in the mirror. So that's them there in all their glory. Very, very simple and minimal style. I absolutely love them. I cannot tell you how much I love these sneakers. Like, so amazing. <laughs> um, but that's what they look like. Definitely a different look than my Lacoste sneakers. Much more structured. The sole is a little bit thicker, which I was a little bit worried about because I don't love thick soles i just find that that makes them too masculine for me and especially being someone on the smaller size and so um these are just beautiful wow i absolutely love them i also wanted to show you the running shoes so these are them these are the apl sneakers again just such a simple design um this is what they look like from above very very simple again there is no tongue so it's just kind of like a slip-on style which i love it's just such a, a time saver um and the sole is very reminiscent of the ultra boosts um but yeah absolutely love them honestly if i were example like i know when i visit family in barcelona it's a ton of walking very similar to toronto and um, i end up wearing sneakers like this all the time so this is an outfit i would honestly wear if i wasn't feeling like wearing my other sneakers. Um, I think having a really classy pair of running shoes like this is perfect. And I'm really liking APL. All right, I hope you enjoyed my little shoe haul there. Um, honestly, so in hindsight, just to kind of give like a little summary, the running shoes are the APLs and I absolutely love them. Very comfortable, very simple and minimalistic, which is what I like in running shoes. Um, and they have so many colors to choose from, different designs as well. And so I think this is a brand that I will definitely be shopping for. Again, like I said, I think I'm actually going to pick up the black sneakers, like just the all black uh, pair, because I absolutely love them. And then the uh, my sneakers, so the Axel Arigato ones, are phenomenal. I cannot express to you how amazing the quality is. And like I said, the design is very unique it's almost like a cross between the alexander mcqueen's and the common projects so very very beautiful it's definitely a heavy shoe and something i like about them is the actual leather on the outside and this is something i noticed just now is almost like a matte texture it's not glossy like some typical leather can be um and i really really like that about them so yeah we'll see how we get on with them i can already tell that they're going to be a little bit hard to break in i think i said that already but i can tell that the tongue is quite stiff and um so i'll have to update you on that break-in process i'll have to maybe walk them to the grocery store once or twice to get them 
softened up a little bit but i definitely do not regret trying that brand out i absolutely love them um so if you're looking just a beautiful pair of white sneakers i will link these down below because they are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous same with the running shoes um sometimes it's just nice to deviate from nike and adidas i know that those are two brands that i've been using for years and years and years and all my running shoes have been from nike and adidas i feel like i would alternate um, so it's actually nice that for once I'm just trying out something different. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of my little haul there But right now I'm gonna clean up my mess and then I'll catch up with you. Hello everyone Um, I had to put my hair down because my bun was giving me a headache and on top of that It's very overcast today and I don't know about anyone else, but every time it's overcast um, I know it's got something to do with the air pressure and stuff, but I always get headaches so today is one of those days I've been using my sage essential oil the peppermint halo because that is like a godsend it just it's magical <laughs> but um, I ended up taking my hair down but I just wanted to have a quick chat because in this video I really wanted to sit down and talk about my new goals and kind of aspirations for 2021 and I've been wanting to just have like a proper sit down and discuss these things. Um, I pretty much had to sit down with myself. And every year I like to do some sort of vision board and just sit down with myself and figure out what brings me joy, what doesn't, what my aspirations are, my goals, um, what I value most in my day-to-day -day life. And with that, I start to kind of set mini goals for my year. Um, and so I wanted to share those with you and hopefully, you know, um, maybe we have some goals that we have in common. <laughs> so um, I thought, you know what, if it's not going to go in this vlog, I will be sure to start off the next vlog with all of that. Um, I think it'll be nice, a nice kind of heart to heart <laughs> um, to kind of be able to share that. So that's going to be in the next vlog. I have some hauls coming. I know I've been getting loads of messages about when I'm posting my next haul. Um, again, with COVID, um, as much as I'm trying my best to order very far in advance of when I'm supposed to have these hauls, unfortunately, um, with COVID and, um, you know, there's lots of delays with shipping and delivery and that's totally understandable. Um, but that's just why sometimes hauls don't happen as soon as I would like them to happen. So I'm still waiting for a few parcels to arrive. Um, that way I can film and have that haul with you. But worry not, there will be a haul at some point next week. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. So yeah, that's kind of just a little update on what to expect for content. I'm hoping to also be getting back to two videos a week. Again, um, with the whole COVID situation, it's just been really weird with um, ordering. So I'm definitely gonna have to figure out a plan to make sure that everything is organized. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to be getting back to two videos a week, hopefully Thursdays and Sundays. Um, one of one day will be a haul and the other day will be a vlog. Um, no specific day, just that's kind of what my hopes are for the year and YouTube content. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what type of content you guys would love to see. I know it's always different because it's funny the things that I think you guys would want to see and then all of a sudden you guys message me that you want to see something and I'm like, really? Like, you really want to see that? <laughs> so do let me know in the comments down below what content you would love to see. Um, even if you think that it's totally dumb, share it anyways. Um, you'd be surprised how I can intertwine different things in different videos <laughs> so that's just kind of my little ramble for the end of this vlog i am going to get to work i really want to have a really low-key evening today i'm gonna keep reading the roxanne gay difficult women book that i started it's so good and i just want to have a really relaxing day probably gonna do a little bit of a workout maybe just yoga and meditation maybe something very low-key i do have to wash my hair and um because it's very dirty <laughs> but yes that's my plan for the rest of the day but with that i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.